words every speaker of english will intuitively recognize what the word in an english sentence are for example if we have this string of words we can easily find that it has soon after breakfast mary and brought in the times though we don't have any uh, any pauses or any space within the words right but even then if we are familiar with english language we can easily find that how many words are there in this string of letters right so the native speaker will no doubt be able to identify the individual words in the sentence quite easily and he will know that the appropriate word boundaries are as in below rather than in three for example soon after breakfast mary ann brought in the times right not sue naf turbury x fast mary so it's not understandable which language it is we because we know that where the boundaries are found within the string of words right so any native speaker or a person having knowledge of the language can easily find these things right if you know language well enough you can do this sort of demarcation of word boundaries quite automatically by intuition it is your linguistic competence which allows you to do this of course such competence is maximal only for your mother tongue and it is less than perfect for other languages which you do not speak fluently obviously a, a person who is not well aware with these uh, with any language cannot uh, find or demark the boundaries quite uh, quite uh, well uh, he may or she may have some difficulty however the native speaker won't have any difficulty because it's part of uh, his her language competency and you have no such competence for the languages which you do not speak obviously if you do not know a language you will find it impossible to identify the word boundaries in even the simple simplest sentence if for example we if we have a string of words right uh, in welsh sentence so we may find it difficult uh, for example this is the string of word we cannot uh, give boundaries to these uh, these uh, uh, these letters jumbled up together we cannot know where the first word starts and where the first word ends because we are not familiar with welsh language so uh, uh, its translation is what is emrys doing but we cannot understand welsh language so if we look at the boundaries by it is beth ye me emrys ni e we knew right so this can be the boundaries but since we did not know uh, what are the boundaries of uh, words in welsh language we could not segregate the uh, uh, words in the string of letters we can say at the most so words are grammatical units uh, which a speaker of a language can intuitively uh, recognize after all very little grammatical education is needed to be able to play scrabble and this game uh, essentially relies on the recognition of word if you have ever played scrabble you know that uh, whether a word is possible to be made with the digit that you have or not so the same applies to other word games so word class distribution so how do we know that this word fix into a certain slot and this word does not fix into a certain slot this is uh, an an important aspect of learning language so in order to form sentence word must appear in a particular structural relationship and in a particular order uh, the distribution of each word class is different obviously we know that where where uh, an adjective is to be used where a noun is to be used where a verb is to be used is known to us being uh, uh, familiar with the english language or in our own language we know that where to put verb where to put adjective in our own language so distributional properties of words are known intuitively by a native speaker 
For example, if we look at this uh, passage, Philip had led the dash life of an only child. So, in number one, we can think of many words, right? Solitary and many synonyms which comes into slot which have the same meaning of solitary. Obviously, I have used this word because I've read this passage so I can understand. But if we say, if the come to the end, dash loneliness at the vicarage was no dash. So, in second, we can understand that his loneliness will have to use either a pronoun for Philip or we'll have to use Philip's loneliness at the vicarage was no and then again better than it had been when his again we need a noun so if we keep uh, reading and filling the blanks with different words we'll be sure that there are certain places where we can bring noun and there are certain places with where we'll have to bring adjective or other aspect so this thing tells us that word classes have their places and have their slots and we cannot bring other word classes on their places so if you look at this this is the filled in passage of uh, that we just saw philip had led the solitary life of an early child right and his loneliness at the vicarage was no greater so you see that how things fit into it as we said that we could bring more words for solitary but for this second blank we were either to use uh, Philips's or for his loneliness right so it shows that word class is permanent and we have to think of the same word the environment in which a word occurs the context serve as an important criterion for setting up classes of word so words which can appear in the same context will be said to have the same distribution obviously uh, um, uh, in a noun phrase we need a noun in an adjective phrase we need an adjective we have seen that some uh, some some word some classes sometimes some word can change their classes but not all the times right they belong to the same word class for example well, uh, solitary we, uh, a place we know solitary is an adjective so we can bring many adjective but uh, his mother or his dash died so here we need a noun mother father or anyone we need a noun so the distribution of word class is fixed and we have to understand that which word class uh, class or which word is possible here and which word is not possible here so this is very important for understanding the syntax of a language to uh, to uh, understand that uh, how we deal with different word classes in syntax information of the sentence